Hello. I said, good morning. Oh, she switched it up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, what time is it? And where are we today? <laughs> All right, so it's about 9.30 in the morning. Why I'm up right now, nobody knows. If this is the first video of ours you've watched, I don't do breakfast. I love breakfast food, actually. But I don't get up for breakfast because I got video games to play at night, things to do. But um, not an early riser. I'm not an early riser. But um, no, we are here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. And we are... <clears throat> Excuse me. See, I'm just waking up. We are at. Uh, we are going to Steakhouse 71 for breakfast. So, um, really quick, and then we'll let Sarah take over. But we have been here a few times lately. We've vlogged it a few times lately. But this is for breakfast this time. Um, I'm actually excited. And one more thing, and then the main narrator will take over. <laughs> but oh, minivan. So many there it goes. Sarah was right. I saw it. I, yeah, exactly. mini, minivans back. are back. Um, but really quickly. We're gonna get two videos out of today. Yes, right. For you, our viewers, not one, but two videos today. Because after this, for lunch, we are going to be going to where, Sarah? We're going to Skipper Canteen. Skipper Canteen. And we're going to the Magic Kingdom today. To the Magic Kingdom for the first time in a while. Uh, we wanted to go there really badly. We've had a lot of requests for more stuff, uh, restaurants and quick service inside the parks. We're heading back. Um, everyone knows we're annual pass holders and everything, but it's been a while. Yep. When you're local, it's hard to get the wherewithal to go to a park when it's this excruciatingly hot. Yes, and we've but, been busy with work. Yeah, very busy. Very busy with the work. The weather has yeah. been a little crazy. It has, but uh, but yeah, we're so the next video after this will probably be inside the parks. You might see us wearing the same stuff because it's on the same day, everyone. <laughs> but uh, so, what are we looking at here today? Yeah, so Seco Seventy One. Of course, you've seen our lunch and dinner videos. If you have not, we will link to those. Um, but it's kind of classic breakfast food here. Uh, I'm excited because I'm going to try, I think, the avocado toast with my friend Alexis from Alexis's Gluten-Free Adventures raves about. Um, maybe some Mickey waffles. But yeah, just kind of classic, standard awesome. breakfast fair, table service restaurant. You've seen it a bunch, but I'm excited for the breakfast food because you yeah. all know I love breakfast. Food. She loves breakfast. And um, yeah, we neither of us have been here for breakfast. I've been here for breakfast. Sorry, Brandon. I have not been here for breakfast. <laughs> I go with <laughs> so, friends so, to brunch because Brandon does not like breakfast. Yeah, so we are going to go, we're going to go check in um, probably in about, when's our reservation? 10 minutes or so? Yep. 10 minutes. And then after this, we'll be heading to uh, Magic Kingdom because we're running up that hill, running up that building. <laughs> but no, um, if you're watching this right about now, you might, you might know the Kate Bush reference. It's popular again right now. If you're watching this in the far future, might not make any sense. Well, we are known for obscure references. Yeah, so, so you're uh, we'll see. So, <laughs> if someone 200 years from now pulls this video to put in a documentary or something, there's a reason for that. But, uh, you know, anyway, we're going to run in and uh, I am looking forward to it. We're waking up, but uh, we've had some good breakfasts lately. Yeah, I'm ready for caffeine and food. Yeah, let's go. So we're inside, uh, we're checked in. Checked in, just waiting to get called, and uh, we do love this little seating area here, the new theming of Steakhouse 71, since the update from the Wave with the monorail theming is awesome. Yeah, I love the mid-century modern yeah. style, or mid-century theme, but it's more mid-century modern. Modern, and uh, what is your favorite interior design style? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder, but uh, oh, I think our table's ready. I just got a text on the very phone I'm recording on. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we just talked to our server, Victor. Victor awesome. is awesome. awesome. We have had him before when we've been here at Steakhouse 71 and when it was the wave. So he is a rock star. I went through our options. I'm going to get the gluten-free modified version of the avocado toast, which is a gluten-free, dairy-free, and plant-based option. We're going to split some allergy Mickey waffles. And then, Graham, what are you going to get? I am getting the steak and eggs. So uh, hopefully good. And uh, yeah, why not have steak? Because at lunch, again, won't be in this video, 
future video for Skipper Canteen. But I'm uh, eating all the steak. I'm eating all the steak today. <laughs> I'm eating it for the, for everyone, y'all. <laughs> no, today is a steak day. I suppose it sounds like we were both uh, didn't really, plan it that way. We were both really <laughs> tired. Yeah. And groggy, and interrupted each other, and not had enough caffeine. So I apologize that our video might be a little crazy today. But we are waking up now. Yes. So no, the, Victor is awesome, like Sarah yes. said, and. Uh, and he would offer if we want to talk to a chef. We could. Yeah. We decided not to because we've been to breakfast a ton here. Uh, well, Sarah has. I have. We've also been to the wave here before, so I felt really comfortable um, with the menu, what we could get. Well, we should be good, but then, yeah. no, that's an option too. But yeah, and I'm glad Sarah said that because we say it in all our videos almost, but if you need to talk to a chef, just say yes and talk yeah. to the chef. Use your comfort yeah. and, your, and judgment on what you feel most comfortable with, but uh, we've had Victor before and we know he's yeah. really knowledgeable, so we felt yeah. that way. So, uh, food, food incoming. Caffeine incoming. Caffeine incoming. <laughs> Our food came. Looks great. I got the uh, steak and eggs. No, steak and eggs. Steak and I'm sorry, everyone. The steak and eggs. The steak came pre, pre-cut. Um, eggs are right here. So let's have some of the steak. Ooh, I like the... What's it called? Not the crust. What do you call it? Like the seasoning on the cup? Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I believe this is going to taste similar to when we went out to eat recently for breakfast at Kona Cafe, but this is better, I think. The uh, steak is. Alright, best breakfast steak I've had here. I'm proud. One more bite. Then you got to try the other stuff. I will. Steak is awesome. Um, so the price point... Yes, it's little, it's tiny, you can see that, but it's really good. Not too filling for the morning. It's great. Uh, fries? What are these? Potato fries? Potatoes. Huh? Potatoes. There it is. Oh, there's a flavor to it. You got the same fries, right? Yes. Sarah might be able to. Oh no, mine are slightly different, I think. Yeah, they do look a little different. And then they came from a different fryer, like mine okay. are pan fried, I think. Oh, uh, really good. Crispy, salty. Is it crispy, salty. Is it possible they're a little sweet? Maybe. I don't know what's on them. I don't know either. They're really good though. But let's have some of these. Um, eggs. A mighty boat of scrambled eggs. Yep. Oh. Just fine. Yeah, we'll just have one more bite to make sure. But. So potatoes and steak are the winner. Yeah, everyone, it's all falling apart. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Just average. Average eggs. Scrambled eggs are fine. They're not at all bad. Steak is. These are delicious. Well, and I will say. Everything you got is also marked gluten-free in the allergen-friendly menu oh, yeah. and can be made. The only swap is that you need to ask for the eggs to be made without dairy. Okay. And to you be dairy-free. So this can be dairy-free as yep. well. But so it gluten is currently gluten-free. Gluten -free option. Yep. So one more bite of steak, everyone. I know I usually don't eat multiple bites oh, of steak. Oh my gosh, I know. I'm like, bring it. You know what? I'll eat the whole thing, but is this the best breakfast steak that we've had? The answer is yes. This is really good. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm really good, but I'm scared to dive into hers. So let's do it. My turn. So I got something totally different than what I usually get. I got some avocado toast. So they put this on gluten-free and dairy-free bread. Uh, looks like it's Bloomfield Farms. And then, so it's a little bit of avocado. Looks like um, some sunflower seed, caramelized onion jam. This is gluten-free, dairy-free, and plant-based. And then uh, I also got some potatoes. Which I'm dropping. Let's give it a Potato walk. down. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Good, right? I mean, they're different. They do look different than mine, so. So far. No potato. I really want to try the avocado yeah. toast, though, because this sounds so good. Oh, and she bit into it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everyone, there's the reaction. There it is. Let it wash over you, Sarah. There it is. This is super awesome. I love the sweetness from the caramelized onion jam. The avocado, I will never turn down avocado. So no, I are. love this. Super rich. The I like the added bit of the um, sunflower seeds because it adds a little bit of crunch and texture, which is nice with everything else going on. 
it's a little bit of a carby breakfast, but I, I really like this. I would definitely get this. Again. Okay, so so far so good. Yeah, though. I can see why my friend Alexis has raved about this. Awesome. It's very tasty. Good job, Alexis. Yeah, good job. Okay, so allergy friendly Mickey Waffle time. Mickey Waffle. Yeah. <laughs> so um, pro tip. They have a seasonal pancake here that has different toppings on it. They cannot make those pancakes gluten-free, but if you ask, you can get the seasonal toppings for your allergy-friendly Mickey waffles. So we did that. So I have two versions. I have one that's just 100% pure maple syrup. Then the other one is blueberries, a lemon curd, and clotted cream. So that, of course, the clotted cream has dairy, but, but you can just get the lemon curd and the blueberries. It's easy to modify to be gluten-free. I mean, dairy-free. And these are, of course, gluten-free, or Sarah would be yes. eating them. <laughs> They're all gluten-free, dairy-free, allergy-friendly, plant-based. And we know we love making waffles. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. They're still using the Bloomfield Farms mix here, which I really like. Super tasty. I really want to try the combination of the seasonal flavors. And that's what you're biting into. Yeah. Blueberries, lemon curd. Mm. Oh, look at that smile. Everyone, look at that smile. She's at peace. I love lemon. She's feeling joy. Mm -hmm. The combination of lemon and blueberry is classic. So I really love that. You get a little bit of fresh fruit. You get the sort of zippy tanginess from the lemon curd. And the clotted cream is nice. If I'm being honest, I don't think you need the clotted cream. So if you're looking for dairy free, just get the, the blueberries and lemon okay. curd. Uh, but super tasty. I love that you can get the seasonal options with this too. It just adds something different to your breakfast. Awesome. And I'm going to be carved out. And I'm about to dig in now too. So good. All right, so my turn for the Mickey waffles. But before I do, Sarah, what, what are the best Mickey waffles we've ever had? Carnation, Carnation Cafe, Cafe Disneyland. Always shout out to Disneyland, <laughs> Carnation Cafe, best Mickey waffles in the world. I don't know if they still do the same way they used to. They used to put maple syrup in the batter, which was so tasty. Thank you. I know. So anyway, um, so I'm about to bite into mine. Uh, same as Sarah here, but I didn't get the uh, seasonal uh, vegetable. What are right. they? Seasonal topping. Seasonal said, no topping. thank you, too. I said no thank you. Curd. So yeah, so... Uh, I'm about to try a bite because I also love Mickey. Not as much as Sarah. Sarah loves Mickey waffles more than any. But yeah, I have, um, I've cut into Mickey and I'm about to eat them. So let's uh, let's do this. It brings back childhood memories. Growing up on the farm, you're out there milking the cows and mama just calls you home. For Mickey waffles. For Mickey waffles. No, but Sarah, these are delicious. Um, love them. Don't come to breakfast without do not, Mickey waffles. Yeah. You know what? Sarah's right. Don't ever come to breakfast. At, at Disney, and don't get Mickey waffles. These are gluten free. These are dairy free. These are top allergy tree nut, peanut, shellfish free, and vegan, and delicious. And, the, and if you have no allergies, no dietary restrictions, they're still delicious. But um, seriously, they're awesome. We love them. And uh, this is wrapping up for before our debrief, right? Yep. So yeah, no. Visit. So we're gonna finish these up, and you will see us outside. Okay. Breakfast done. Breakfast done. It was awesome. Let me just jump right into one thing really quick. I said there it is for the uh, potatoes, right? Yeah, the potatoes. Which, which holds? They, they weren't bad. They were still delicious. Um, I'd like to add a there it is for that steak. The more I ate, the more slices of it I ate, zero issues. Uh, Sarah said it too. She thought the steak was going to have a little fat on it. I did. Zero. I, I'm sure it was there. I tasted nothing. Um, absolutely delicious. But in saying that, I just want to get in before I forget that. Sarah, what'd you think? <laughs> Overall, I was super impressed. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while since I've been to breakfast here. Um, you love the steak. You said you thought it was like one of the best. I, you think it's the best for you've breakfast. Ever had for breakfast? For breakfast, it is the best steak I've ever had. Okay, so you definitely love that. I, I love the steak. I have previously gotten the waffles here before, but I've also gotten, um, they have like a sampler platter that has like a gluten free eggs benedict, a Mickey waffle, um, eggs, bacon, like all the stuff. Which is really great if you're coming here and you want to try all the different things. I definitely recommend that. But this is the first time I've had the avocado toast here. And it was so good. Yeah, you really enjoyed it. Yeah, that. super tasty. The price point, it was, I think, $13. Mm -hmm. um, you got some potatoes with it. I bet if you wanted, like, fruit or something, you could ask for that, too, instead. 
I loved it. Yeah. It was delicious. delicious. The and waffles were delicious. Mickey waffles delicious. Definitely do that pro tip if you love a seasonal topping. So they are rotating every sort of few months the different mm -hmm. toppings. Yeah. And you can ask them. Yeah. All right, so quick cut right there. Really quickly, we just had an awesome interaction with a cast member here named Benjamin. Yeah. Um, he saw us standing in front of this. By the way, really quickly, um, as everyone knows, we try to stay out of people's way when we vlog and not call. There's no one around right now. Yeah. So that's why we got this yeah. awesome thing behind us. Um, this is a very popular spot, but there is literally no one here. But cast member saw us here. Benjamin came up, took some great, maybe Sarah will insert one or something. Yeah, some good photos. Um, he just took some good photos of awesome. us. So uh, Benjamin, you're awesome. But really quick, back to the uh, debrief on yeah. the uh, breakfast. So quickly again, if you want those seasonal toppings, even though they can't do gluten-free pancakes here, ask for the toppings. It's kind of a nice, fun way to mm -hmm. enjoy your Mickey waffles. If you want something a little bit different, they change them out every few months. Um, but overall, food is great. We did yeah. see uh, Chef David, who we have had, had many times before when we've been here at Steakhouse 71. We didn't chat with him, but we saw him out helping some Helping other people with allergies, yeah. So again, know that you can ask to speak yeah. to a chef here. And then of course, our server Victor was Victor awesome. was awesome. So Victor, if you're seeing this somehow, do, do any cast members actually watch this? Leave a comment if you're a cast member and you watch this. Maybe we'll shout you Blue out. But uh, Victor was awesome here. Um, yeah, and uh, again Benjamin just now and uh, Chef and everything, just awesome. Uh, breakfast was great. Price point was on point. I easily come back. I think my I think I enjoyed over all the Kona breakfast a little bit better. However, the steak here was better. This steak was awesome. I, I, again, I'm not comparing it to Topolino or a dinner steak or something like that or filet mignon. Yeah. Something, but uh, for a breakfast steak, for the price point, extremely solid. Gave me some energy. Yeah. Um, anything else? I would agree. I think it's a very solid, yeah. very nice breakfast option if you're here at Disney and yeah. you're looking for a table service place that can accommodate special yeah. dietary needs really well, yeah. you're going to have a great meal at yeah. Seagull Awesome. So with that... As always, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. You're all amazing. And just really quickly, we had our third monthly chat with our patrons, um, our live chat, and it was awesome. Awesome. We'll look forward to the next one, but thank you to them, all our subscribers. Um, any comment you leave, thumbs up, hit the bell. It really helps. Every channel says it, we say it. So fast forward to the end. Leave a comment, thumbs up, bell, subscribe, all the, all the things. You're all awesome. Um, we're going to be heading to uh, Magic Kingdom now, heading back to the car, get to Magic Kingdom. Yep, so and, um, stay tuned for some videos yep. coming forward from Magic Kingdom. Yep. We'll at least have Skipper Canteen, maybe yeah. something else. We'll see. We'll see you soon. We'll see. Bye. Bye.